everything was better in the past. I could stop talking now, right? We all know that. Everything was better in the past. I remember uh, the summer days when I was a child and the world was so big and so bright and so free of responsibilities. I can remember how vivid the colors were in the woods where I used to play. Some of you might be too old to have memories in color though, right? Maybe yours are in black and white. Or maybe you're so old, you're old enough to remember in sepia tones. All kidding aside though, we do glorify our past. But do you know that right now is the safest time to be alive ever in the history of humanity? I bet you don't believe that statement. So let me read to you a bit from an article written by Scott Gilmore. He wrote, The world has never been more peaceful. The number of wars has continued to decline sharply since the Second World War. And the number of civil wars has dropped by 40% since 1990. These conflicts are becoming less lethal, too. In the 1950s, the average civil war would kill 86,000 people. Today, it's only 3,000. Expand the time frame and things look even better. In the Middle Ages, 15% of people would die violently in some form of warfare. Now, even if we take into account war-related diseases or famine, it is still less than 1%. What about the threat of nuclear war? It's good news there, too. The number of global warheads is down from 70,000 in 1986 to 24,000 now. And now is the safest it's ever been to be a child in America, too. Christopher Ingram wrote in the Washington Post, quote, The overall child mortality rate in the United States has literally never been lower. In 1935, for instance, there were nearly 450 deaths for every 100,000 children aged 1 to 4. Today, there are fewer than 30 deaths for every 100,000 kids in that age group. That's more than a tenfold decrease. We glorify the past and then forget why we're here in the present. There's an old Jewish parable about a man who happens to find out that the world will end tomorrow. And when he does, he goes to his rabbi and he tells him and he asks him what he should do. And the rabbi tells him to go and plant some trees. In other words, continue your life today. Continue to grow. Continue to serve. Continue to have faith. Churches die because they lose their faith in God at work in the present. And they put all of their energy into trying to get back to the past. My hope is that we stop glorifying the past. Celebrate it, certainly but be working toward a brighter future and a better now where we are serving people outside of ourselves, not just serving ourselves in an effort to recreate, recreate a memory of a church that never was.